Good evening. Hello and good afternoon. You're very welcome indeed here to Ballymote Corn Park in Ballymote. Today's today's game between Shamrock Gales of County Sligo, the County Sligo the Senior Ladies Champions, and Clonagh Gale, the Roscommon Senior Ladies Champions. Tonight's game, today's game, it will be the second final for Shamrock Gales. Uh, at last year, who were beaten by the Neil of Mio, who, who uh, coincidentally were beaten by Shamrock Gales in semi final this year. Tonight's teams are as follows. The Shamrock Gales team is as follows. Number one, Denise Clerken. Number two, Angela Lavin. Number three, Edel Cogans. Four, Lynn Craig. F five, Rose Coley. Six, Sarah Cassidy. Seven, Paula Dowd. Eight, Nikki Harren. Nine, Deirdre Harren. Ten, D Claire Healy. Eleven, Deirdre McKeown. Twelve, Fiona Mulhern. 13, Michelle Harren, 14, Ali McCormick, and 15, Amy Cogans. The substitutions for Shamrock Gales are Matona McDermott, 16, 17, B Mar Mary McDermott, 18, Devin O'Hara, 19, Caroline Healy, 20, Jan Janelle Healy, and 21, Sharon Willis. The management of the Shamrock Gales team is manager Thomas Welsh and selectors Burnham Hearn and Porrick Scandlin. The Clonda Gale team is as follows. Number one, Yvonne Dolan. Number two, Paula Keenan. Three, Sandra Mannon. Four, Karen Healy. Five, Karen Healy. Six, Caroline Dolan. Seven, Jean Bruce. Eight, Michelle Hunt. Nine, Breda Gervin. Ten, Nee Fallon. Eleven, Paula, Paula Walsh. Twelve, Diana Dolan. 13 Sharon Creven, 14 Marie Mackin, and 15 Anne Mackin. The substitutions for Clannagh Gale this evening are as follows 16 Fiona Burney, 17 Amy Lawless, 18 Idella Kelly, 19 Sharon Shine, 20 Helen Murray, 21 Veronica Gavin, 22 Jeanine Dowling, 23 Deirdre Doyle, 24 Leslie Watson. And 25, Caroline Healy. The management of the Clonagh Gale team is Fimber Egan, manager, and Declan Delaney is the physio and selector, co selector. So, a pretty showery day here in Valley Moat. The referee is from Leitrim. And Chamber Gales will now play down into the Railway in for the first half. Now we're enough. Huh? <laughs> Ready for <laughs> 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 Oh, that's it. Oh,
So now the game has just started here in McCarran Park by Limote, and now it's uh, the British Trummer Gills, Nicky Harron. A free kick there against uh, Trummer Gills and number 11 now of Clonda Gale, which is uh, Paula Walsh. She passed the ball, doing number 12, number 11. It's Paula Walsh, the ball now for Clonda Gale. Good ball into one. They're looking for number 13 of Clonda Gale, which is Sharon Crevian. She's uh, just narrowly towards the uh, corner right. Pushed it back again now to number, number, 10, number 10. Ball is going back now. It's gone out for the 50. So the number nine now to take this 50 for uh, Tony Gill, Michelle Hunt, sorry Breach Gould to take this free kick, good enough free kick into the into the thing but again it's well cleared by uh, Rose Colley on the ball now for the ball and Rose Colley is fouled and a free kick to Shamrock Gills, good long ball now we'll just way be over the halfway line towards uh, Jeremy Keown. Jeremy Keown on the ball, a good kick for Jeremy Keown down towards the wing here. Looking for uh, is uh, Fiona Mulhern, but she loses out the possession there. And it comes to uh, the number six of uh, Clonagale. Gale. She tossed the ball to the side of the field. It's coming very close to the sideline, but again, well played by uh, the number four of Shower Gales, which is Lynn Craig. She loses out the possession, but again, number 13 now of Clonagale, Gale, which goes literally is Sharon Creven. She has the ball, but again, Del Coke has the ball now instead. So Lynn Craig has the ball now for Shower Gales. She's fouled the possession referee, is given a free for Shower Gales. Just over the, a little bit over the uh, 50 yard line. So now Lynn Craig to take this free kick herself. So now Nicky Hart to take this free kick here for Shamrock Gills. And a good free kick there from Nicky Hart in towards the, uh, into Deirdre McKeown. Comes now to, uh, sorry, Deirdre Hart had the ball. She knocks that ball in toward looking for Eileen McCormick. But again, the goalkeeper is very alert there for uh, Tony Gill. She, does a very good uh, shimmy there and gets the ball out far side of the field again towards the number uh, seven of Atlantic Gale, which is uh, coincidentally is Cathy Haven. And she's fouled in possession, uh, pushing the back there from uh, Atlantic Gale on the Atlantic Gale player, quickly taken free again, looking for the number 14, the official number 14, which is Marie Mackin. But again, she does possession, it's going to go out of play. The skill to play by uh, Rose Colley of Shamrock Gales, and she's uh, has possession, she gives it back to uh, Sarah Cassie, but again, looking again for Eileen McCormick, but no one to be found. So now the ball is looking again for this down the side of the field again now. So it's down number 10 now for, for, Clon for Clon Gale and it's Neve Fallon. She uh, has the ball. Paul Dowd is a little bit behind her. But again, Neve Fallon is going through, heading straight for goal. Like she had a nice tip in forward, but again, no problem to Edel Cogans. Edel Cogans now to clear the lines and clears the lines. Well done indeed. But again, it's number 9 of Clon Gale. She trims and troubles and she gets the ball and she breeds goal and she gets the ball. She's looking for the number 13 of uh, Clon Gale, which is a uh, Sharon Keevan but again ball has gone out of play and it's a free out for Sharon Gales so a foul there for Sharon Gales and uh, again Sharon Gales beat possession there but think of the up to the number Number 15 of Clonagale Gale and Mackin. But Shamrock Gale has been one little free out. Quickly taken down the far side of the field again once more. Looking for uh, Jared Harden and Eileen McCormick fighting for the position. But again, Shamrock Gale's had the ball and it's Shamrock Gale's sideline ball. The far side of the field. So now it's a. Uh, 
So now, Paul Adao there fouling there, number 10, McCoy. A chance there for Clan again on the counter burst again, but a great block down again by uh, Idal Kogans. And Shamrock Gills has been awarded another free kick here. Shamrock Gills full back, Idal Kogans have an absolute storm in the last uh, five or six minutes now. Now again, now looking for number 15, Shamrock Gills, which is Amy Kogans. She's a uh, hurling and burying, but a great block down once more from the Shamrock Gills uh, corner back, and uh, ball has gone out for a sideline ball to Clan Gale. The player takes the call side ball very fast again, looking for the number, number 11. But again, the ball is going to break to the number six, the center half back for Tony Gale, which is Carolyn Dolan. She bursts through with the ball, it's now coming, it's interchange to a uh, breach Goulin. She gives the ball in again for number 14. But again, Adele Kogan's and the full forward has it for Tony Gale, and she's a free into Tony Gale. The number 14 of Tony Gale, Marie Mackin, to take this free kick now. They all said that she was the danger woman, and she really looks to be. Referee actually has given a hot ball. Four knock ball knocked down to number 14. This is chance. And a goal for Clannagale. A goal for Clannagale. A goal taken. It seemed as if Denise Lurkin had that ball, but it seemed to be somehow just scrummed to the top of her hands into the top of the corner of the net. <laughs> so, a quick kick out by Denise Lurkin. Again, Clannie Gale have a little bit more physical strength in the middle of the park, but Paula Dowd is not having a good friend thing there, there. But again, she loses the ball again once more. It's looking for uh, Lynn Craig, but again, loses out. Idel Kogan's now to half block that ball. Comes to Lynn Craig again, but again, the number 14, Marie, she has the ball. She's looking again for number 13. 13 of Clannie Gale and Michelle Hart Horn. She has it. She knocks it back out, but again, it's looking up. Uh, Nicky Harron has it, but again, her kick is half blocked, and again, it comes to number 5 of Clannie Gale, which is Brian Rose. Cathy Murphy, she has the ball, she knocks the ball again down to wing down to number 10 of Clonda Gale, which is Neve Fallon. She kicks the ball in again, look for number 13, which is Sharon Creven. Ball is swum in the area. Again, Del Cogus has the ball for Shamrock Gale. She's about to clear the line, she clears it halfway out as far as Nicky Harron. But again, Nicky doesn't get it, Deirdre Harron gets it instead. And Deirdre Harron is fouled in possession. Come on, Nicky, settle it down, come on! Good ball again now. Nicky Harron on the ball here for Shamrock Gales. Good play by uh, Sarah Cassidy here for Shamrock Gales. She has the ball, she regrains it again. Pumps the ball down the far side of the field again, looking for either Duran McEwan or anybody in that Shamrock Gales here. But again, the ball is going to go over the sideline. That's another line ball for uh, Clonic Gale over Scammon. Quickly take a line ball again, looking for the number 13, Sharon Craven. But again, the ball is going to go over the sideline. That's another line ball to. Uh, Clannagale. So, good kick there at the end. Dear enough. Well played by Denise Clerken indeed. Very well played indeed. A good clearance from Denise now. Good, good, good. Right in the middle of the park again for Nicky Harbour. And Nicky Harbour loses possession there once more. And again, a chance here, but a good uh, intervention there by Sarah Cassidy. And, and uh, again, now looking for Claire Healy. This is. Play Hurley on the ball now for Shamrock Gills. Thanks. Who's it for? Sandra, watch out! For me. Good ball in now into the into Clannagale area again. It's knocked down by uh, Claire Hill. He has the ball for Shamrock Gales and she's fouled in possession. It's a free into Shamrock Gales. Good kick there for Shamrock Gales. It's off the post, but Akinza comes back into play. Now chance for Shamrock Gales on the ball again now. Shamrock Gales has been awarded another free kick. So now chance for Shamrock Gales on the ball again now. Good ball into the uh, Clonny Gale box. But again the, the cornerback of Clonny Gale has to get that ball. A shot coming in. And it's over the bar for Shamrock Gales. Score from, uh, Deirdre, from uh, Michelle Harron to score that point.
I'm not going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, wait. So they're trying to get a uh, goalkeeper, Veronica Dolan, to kick this ball out. Good long kick up from Veronica Dolan. Just a little bit all around the halfway line, but again it's uh, punched up in the It'll be punched in the area then because now it's Deirdre Harden on the ball here for Shamrock Gills. She knocks the ball oh, under, the leg, under the legs of Amy Cogus, but again it's a chance of the Harden on the ball for Shamrock Gills. She's bursting her way through. She shoots. A good shot, all right, but. But again, it's the Clonagh Gill keeper to clear her lines there once more. Now it's a chance of uh, someone from Gills to probably get that ball. But again, it's Clonagh Gill a little bit faster and a bit more fitter. They'll get the ball, they're knocking the ball at well, well, but uh, Paula Dowd to clear that ball. Good clearance of Paula Dowd. Again, looking for someone that'll counter burst that ball. The ball is going to go over the far side of the field once more. And this is Clonagh Gill's number seven now on the ball. Go up the far sideline, going to make it. Dartine run up the far sideline. A good, oh, she's gone short of 25 yards. She kicks a good long ball into the number. But again, it's well played by the Shamrock Gales, Idel Cogans. Idel Cogans to clear a line. Good clearance from Idel, good sensible clearance. She gives the ball over the first of the field, but again, the number nine of, of Clannagale has the ball. The referee has given a free kick to uh, Clannagale. And uh, So a good chance there once more, but again it's the number nine of Clonagh Gale. It's Bree Doolan. She have a shot there from Bree Doolan, but again it's well played by Paula Dow, but it's knocked out of her grasp. But and now this is Fiona Mulhern on the ball for Shamrock Gales. Fiona, she does a very good swim tackle on a great no problem there to Fiona Mulhern. She kicks the ball down this side of the field, looking again for uh, Amy 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 Cogus, and Amy Cogus is following possession and free kick for Amy. They quickly take a free kick, looking again for Amy McCormick. Ball is bumbled in front, but Eileen does very well again to retreat that ball. She gets it. She's heading straight for the far side of the field again once more. She turns inside. She looks for Deirdre Harden, just doesn't get it. Ball comes back instead now to uh, Amy Cogans, and the free kick is to Shamrock Hills. So free kick there once more. It's gone wide. Free kick there from the Michelle Harden. The ball has just gone wide. So just in case you've joined us late, it's uh, Connie Gaylor was coming. One goal, Shower Kills, one point. A wet and blustery day here in Ballymote, here in Corn Park, County Sligo. So now once more. So this is now a uh, Chance for Shamrock Gills on the counter burst again, but again the referee's given her free into Shamrock Gills. Free kick down for Michelle Harden. That's the ball. A great kick indeed, and a very good score indeed now. Very good score taken by Nikki Harden. That reduces the deficit now to uh, to one point. You're coming live here from uh, Corn Park here in Valley Mode. <laughs> Good kick out again now for the Tony Gold kick. It's in the middle of the park again, but again, well played by uh, Nicky Harm. Again, burst into tackle there by Sharon Gales now. And they come through with the ball again once more. A kick in, in looking again for Eileen McCormick. Everybody in there at all, but no ball is broken loose to Eileen McCormick. A chance for Eileen. She shoots! And it's uh, just got narrowly wide. Narrowly wide there from Eileen McCormick. Hello there. Hello there. Hello. How are you doing? Come on. Can't hear it. Can't hear it. Can't hear it. Oh. Can't hear it. It's an Gale to take this. Yeah. Come on. Give it up. Yes, here. Get that ball, you. Up the thing. Oh, 
more now. So Sean McGill has the ball once more. Great chance there. And it's just gone narrowly wide. Well done, girls. That's it. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> ball now, Shamrock Gales in the possession again once more over the far side of the field. Ali McCormick has the ball now for Shamrock Gales once more. She has the ball, he gives it back to uh, Amy Ting. I'm going to score there from Amy uh, Cogans. And that makes it level here for McCormick Park here at Ballymote. It's now Shamrock Gales, three points. Clanny Geller is coming. The goal. Clear Healy scored that brilliant point there from coming in from Clear Healy. Sorry, my apologies if I said uh, Amy Cogans. So good fetching the injury by Shamrock Hills again once more. Shamrock has been awarded another free kick. So, uh. So long ball once more now looking for Lynn Craig. Good fish by Lynn Craig. Well played indeed by Lynn Craig. Now she has the ball. She's looking looking for uh, Fiona Mulhern. Fiona Mulhern with the ball here for Shamrock Gales now. Again, Fiona Mulhern uh, shambles her way through. Still going through with the ball. She's still hitting, but she's going really nowhere. But she's still she's following possession. And again, Shamrock Gales be more than another free kick. Just about 50 yards out from goals. This free now will be taken again by Deirdre McKeown, I presume. So Deirdre McHugh to take this free kick now for Shamrock Gills. Good free. Blocked down. Come back to a Shamrock Gills player. Bring a little ball behind them. They're fighting for the possession between the Clanny Gale and uh, Amy, Amy Cogan. But again the ball is going to come out of the... No, it's not this line But again the ball is going to hobble and bobble over the far side defender. The referee is going to give a hot ball, let's say. The referee today, referee today is Deirdre Quinn from uh, Ahawillan in County Leitrim. Sister of... Uh, Leitrim County footballer Seamus Sh Quinn. Indeed, the line ball is taken really fast, and the ball has gone over the side of the field once more. And it's another uh, line ball for Shamrock Gales. The Shamrock Gales number eight now uh, to take this. Uh, Nicky Harn to take this free kick. Quickly taken by Nicky, looking again for Eileen uh, McCormick. But again, it comes back to Deirdre Harn. And again, it's the full back of uh, Conor, Conor Center half back. She has the ball. She a very poor effort in the interior now. But again, it's. Swarming in the area. Now it's number 13 of Atlantic Gale. She has the ball. She kicks the ball. Again looking for number t number 10 of Atlantic Gale. Ball is going to score. But again, Lynn Craig loses our possession there. Because back to uh, Del Coke is out man marking the defence there at the moment. But a good enough kick in the area. But this is a chance here now for uh, goalkeeper. And uh, ball has gone wide. Ball has gone wide. Come on, Once more, good field, a good kick off again by Denise Lurkin. Looking again now for Nicky Harden on the ball now for Shamrock Hills. Half blocked by uh, Deirdre Harden. Again, now it's a chance of uh, Idella Cogas to clear the lines, but again it's in the middle of the park. Middle of the, bustle. the centre half back now for uh, Tony Gale. Has the ball, she knocks the ball up once more with the referee. Is signally, she plays on the referee and get free kick instead of quickly taken. And it's a free kick to Clonny Gale, taken once more by the number seven of Clonny Gale, which is uh, Cathy Heaven. Good long ball once more into the goal mat. But again, the number 14 of Clonny Gale has that ball. She kicks and shoots. It's a shot. And it's over the bar for Clonny Gale. Another score for Clonny Gale. They have a scored about, in maybe about... 13 14 minutes, but that's the first score from play for Clanny Gale. A good score indeed. <laughs> Again, now Clanny Gale in the controversy game once more. Jeez. Broke in the middle of the park once more. It's Clanny Gale in the controversy once more into the box. Into the but again, Denise Clare can handle that ball, no problem. Clears it out. 
And again, Nicky Harden has the ball. And Deirdre Harden on the ball for Shamrock Gales. Referee Deirdre Quinn is giving the free kick to Shamrock Gales. Free kick now quickly taken. Look down the far side of the field once more. Again, looking for Shamrock Gales player. And again, a Shamrock Gales player foul in possession. And Deirdre Quinn giving a free kick. The Clonic Gales players are in, infused, infuminated with the uh, decision. And she. Uh, So a long ball. So now once more, a good free kick from the centre half back at Lonnie Gale. Again, looking for uh, one of her number 11. But again, the ball is coming to uh, Rose Colley in the ball for Sean McHale's now. She's humbled and bumbled with the ball. Again, she's uh, lost possession. She has a game in position, but the referee is giving her going to give a hot ball. Sorry, referee gives a free kick. Quickly taking free kick. Again, looking for the number 10 here of Lonnie Gale. That ball is going to go over the sideline. And it's gone over the sideline. So that's the Sean McHale's sideline. Oh, a very poor uh, uh, free kick there coming from Len Craig. And the ball is coming out to the number nine, which is uh, again a flying girl. She puts the ball over to number ten again. And the ball is going to break it down by a uh, ball of doubt. She's looking again for the Fiona Hurden, but again the number number seven of Atlanta Gale has the ball again once it is again. And she good long kick into the centre half forward again. But again the ball is going to break to number twelve. Number twelve now Atlanta Gale. She has the ball. She's going short. She's going twenty five yards. She's still throwing through. No to take her on. It does come out to a narrower angle, but uh, Denise Durkin has no problem, and the ball goes a good bit wide. Just in case you've joined us late, there's just about uh, 24 25 minutes gone in this game here in Ballymote, and it's Shamrock Gales 3 points, Tony Gale 1 1. Now, one once more, it's Deirdre Harden on the, on the burst here again, Michelle Harden on the ball, sorry. And the ball is coming into the, into the thing, but again, a chance here for Amy Cogan. She goes a very good catch there indeed. Gives it to Deirdre McKeown. Deirdre McKeown on the ball here for Shamrock Gales now. She uh, is fouled in possession. The referee is going to give a free kick to Shamrock Gales. Good free kick, fairly fast. Into the box again, looking for Eileen McCormick. She squirms, she's going straight through. She shoots, and that's over the bar from Eileen McCormick. A fantastic score once more. The set piece are really working here for Shamrock Gales in Bally Mode. <laughs> you begin to wonder when you hear a name with Shine on it, you say to yourself, well, is that any relation to the singer Brendan Shine or Donald Shine, the Wisconsin Senior County Manager? Again now. Trying to get with this kick out again to be taken by uh, Veronica Dolan. Now, good clearance from Veronica Dolan, just a little bit over the 50 yard own 50 yard line, but again, it's going to be caught by the number five of Clan again, which is found in possession. Cathy Heaven is found in possession, and the Shamrock Gales uh, Well played by Rose Coley again, it's knocked down once more, it's going to come to uh, He did, didn't he? Again, now the chance here for number 10, Atlanta Gill. She looks out for number 13 again, but the ball is going to go to number 14, the danger woman. Itella Kogas does not mark her, but again, a well played by uh, Sarah Cassidy. She clears the lines very well indeed. Looking for uh, But again, the, the man marking is very, very bad from Shepard Gill's point of view. Again, now we're looking again for long searching ball into the again. Everyone beating for the ball, and Sarah Cassidy has it at full back, cornerback has it, Rose Colley has it. She clears the ball instead to. Uh, Sarah Cassidy gets the ball, she kills the far side of the field once more, again looking for Deirdre McKeown. The ball is going to knock down to Deirdre McKeown's reach and again it's a chance here for Clonic Gale to reburst again. They're now coming through, number uh, Sh Sharon Heaven has the ball for Clonic Gale. She's going through the ball, no one taking her on. She looks, seems to have fouled the ball, the referee says no, she doesn't, but the play still plays the ball, she's going up, she shoots, a shot. The goalkeeper has no problem with getting that ball to Denise Lurkham, she clears the lines once more. 
coming over the far side of the field once more. But again, Tallygill are having a very good field day over the far side of the field there. Everything is going right for them over there so far. Good ball once more now. The far side of the field again broken down. It's very slippery conditions. It looks out there. So again, now chance for uh, Jared Hartland. She's fouled in the possession and another free kick to Shamrock Hills. So now. So it's there for Sean McGill now once more. To uh, counter burst on a good chance for Sean McGill. Good play for Sean McGill, but again, it's a great chance to recuperate now at the moment. It's, it's Nicky Harden on the ball for Sean McGill. She shoots and it's going to go well wide. Ball has gone very well wide there indeed. Very poor effort in the end. <laughs> now it's chance for Dale Cogs to clear the ball, but again, Adele. <laughs> Del Coates the ball here for Shamrock Hill. She fits the ball back to pull it out. Clears the ball out towards the Shamrock Hill player. <coughs> again, it's going to go to a Clonic Gale player, but again, the ball has gone well wide. And if joined us late, it's Shamrock Hill's four points. Clonic Gale, 1 1. Again, in the middle of the parking once more. And this is the chance of Deirdre Harden on the ball for Shamrock Hills. She twirls and twirls. She drove a good driving ball down towards the first in the middle of the park. But again, it's a great chance here now for Amy Cogans. She tumbles and tumbles the ball. She's going still through, but she's going really nowhere. The ball is broken again to a Clonic Gale player who has plenty of time to recuperate and get the ball. She clears it up this side of the field. He comes more looking for the number 10, the danger woman. But again, Lynn Craig does very well indeed to uh, recuperate. But again, a very silly pass from Lynn Craig. That's about the fourth or fifth one she's done this today so far. Again, this, uh, Paula Dowd's a little bit of man marking. But again, well played by Mar Paula Dowd. She bursts her way out of the fence, and the referee's given a free out, free out for Shamrock Gales. <laughs> so a good freak from Paula Dowd. Looking again for something to get out of this game. Referee now to. Uh, So now a chance here for Shamrock Hills to get something out of this game. Hopefully they will retain a counter title or get some sort of a counter title. The first time ever for Shamrock Hills to ever win anything like that major trophy like this. Referee is going to give a... So now once more a good long ball over the first of the field again for the Clannagale player. So she has to just to recuperate the referee again is going to give a free kick to Clannagale. And uh chance kinda of begging there once more. So once more now. Uh, Chance gone down there, but again, Shower gets the ball. It's Rose Cullis. She clears that ball very well indeed. Up does find the field, down the first of the field. Again, towards uh, Amy, C Amy Cogan. She's bursting through with the ball. She shoots it. She's shot, and it's gone well wide again. Shamrock Gill's forward line have been absolutely atrocious here today at Valley Mode. They've had about maybe the guts of uh, six to seven chances, and they put them all wide and very well wide indeed. We're getting now Shamrock Gill's. Uh, Referee's going to have to have a word with uh, two players. <laughs> so the referee is a uh, for word with number fifteen, Amy Cogans. Good long free kick from Amy Cogans, but or from the Clannock Hill keeper, but again it's broken down to uh, Michelle Harden. Michelle Harden, good clear from in the field by Michelle Harden. Looking again for Eileen McCormick.
Again, the ball's broken down once more, and it's a chance here for uh, Tannigal to recuperate. Again, the chance is going to go up again, and Shamrock Hills are giving another way. Foolish free out for Atlanta Gale. So now, once more, this free kick to come for Atlanta Gale. Quickly taking free kick once more. Again, the ball is going to break to the Shamrock Hills player. This is Sierra Cassidy. She knocks the ball back to uh, Del Cogan. So the ball going to go uh, over the far sideline. That's a line ball to Shamrock Hills once more. Well, you will know, have to. And the walk. Once more, good long ball again. Now looking for Derby Kewan running with that general direction. Chance here for Shamrock Gales. A uh, ball is going to go out for a 50. 50 ball for Shamrock Gales. That's Shamrock Gales' third 50 of this game here in Corn Park in Valley Moat. Remember Shamrock Gales who beat it, uh, Anna Duff in the first round of the Ladies' Championship, the Connacht Ladies' Championship, and then they demolished the Neil of Mayo in the second round. Semi final. So uh, the Neil, the the Mio champions and the Connor champions who were very much fancy to, to uh, advance but uh, were beaten by Shamrock Gill's team which was very supreme in the day and a kind of very poor effort there coming in from Amy Cogans ball has gone wide so it's so it's half time here in Corn Park here in Ballymote the score at half time is Shamrock Gill's 4 points Tony Gale of Roscommon 1-1 one, one. Well, we're, we're back to you now for second half comedy thank you very much on here for the second half in Ballymoat and Carden Park and to Shamrock Gales now with the attack once more Deirdre Hart knocks that ball up the far side of the field once more looking for a Shamrock Gales player again chance here now but again she knocks the ball in front of her great play by Shamrock Gales player but again the ball is going to put on a Gale player seem to foul the ball in position but again it's gone this side of the field going this side of the field against the race of uh, Sarah Cassidy on the ball she lo uh, loses out there referee is given a free kick to uh, Tony Gill. And the ball is going to go uh, to the Gilpere. But again, well played by uh, Paula Sarah Cassidy. She clears that ball up the first field. A good play by. Uh, a go now looking for uh, Nikki Heron. Michelle Heron. It's been ordered a free kick. But again, the chance now for uh, Tony Gill in the counterpart. But again, well played by. Uh, well played by uh, thing, but again, just kids. Taylor Harden now on the ball once more. And she's got a free kick for herself. And the referee uh, quickly taking free kick, but again, uh, interlinking. Great play by Shamrock Kids again once more. The referee is giving a free in, pulling drag there, and uh, Shamrock Kids been awarded another free kick. And it's a. Uh, <laughs> free kick to be taken by Derby McKeown. Up, up, up. A score there from uh, Jeremy Kewan. Quick, 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 quick. 
Thanks. Hey, you called it. Hey, well, I didn't think about it. <laughs> so, no, so the Atlantic Gaelic goalkeeper. Good long ball now. Into, up from the goal, Clonagel Kimber seems to have thrown that ball, but again it's the interlinking play by Clonagel, and they attack ball, go down the field again once more, but uh, open play again once more, Edel Kogan picks out the ball, and uh, the chance for Clonagel, and a shot, and it's just gone wide, a very narrow escape there for Shamrock Hills, ball just goes wide, so now Denise Lurkin prepares to uh, kick out this ball once more, So once more, good loud clearance from Denise Lurkin. Just around the 50 yard line, but again, everyone, everyone, everyone loses out the ball, bringing the ball, ball touched to the ground, the referee says. And she's given the free kick to Clannagale, quickly taken again once more by Clannagale player. In for Denise Lurkin. She bubbles in, dominates, and she got it, but the ball goes over her head. Denise Lurkin clears the lines very well indeed. It's going to go over the far sideline. It's going to be another free kick for a uh, sideline ball to be taken the far side of the field for uh, Clannagale. And uh, chance now for uh, Clannagale to recoup on eight. So it's like just telling them to put it in the corner. If the ball goes into the corner, you can into the ball. The chance for Clonagale, and they have a half chance, but it's cleared again by uh, cornerbacks to Shamrock Gales and over the side of the field once more. The chance now. Got a begging nose, still in play, but at number 13, Clonagale, she kicks the ball in again. Denise Clerkin is half alert. Ball is coming out to Del Cogan. She clears the ball. She's good, at good, good clearance for Del Cogan. Gives it out this side of the field again once more. Fall back to. Uh, Number nine of 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 Clannagale, which is Janelle Cogan. <laughs> Ball against it. Angela Lavender to clear the line there once more. Over the side of the field once towards there. Paul it out. So now Michelle Hart, another ball here for Shamrock Hills. She kicks the ball over the, in, into the centre of the area. Again now looking for Nikki Har Michelle Harn. Michelle Harden has the ball for Shamrock Hills. Good into licking play for Shamrock Hills players. Very good playing. The referee is going to give a free out to uh, Clowney Gill. Very poor free kick there coming from Clannagale Gale and the chance here for Shamrock Hills to lurch on the ball again. But again the ball is broken down again and there's a chance here now for uh, number 14 Eileen McCormick of Shamrock Hills. Eileen is heading down for the first corner flag. She shimmies and dummies. She gets the ball. She knocks the ball in to uh, Michelle Harron. And she's fouled in possession. And the referee is going to give a hot ball I'd say. The referee today is Deirdre, Har Deirdre Quinn from uh, Ahawala and Leitrim. Good down throw in from the... Referee again now Eileen McCormick retrieves the ball, gets the ball, locks the ball, looking again for Deirdre McKeown. Ball is knocked out of Deirdre's gas, but it comes to uh, Claire Healy. And she, Claire Healy is pushed in the back. It's going to be a free kick to Shamrock Gales. Fionn Hearn there, quickly take a free kick from Fionn Hearn. Again looking for a Shamrock Gales player. Burying the way through, but again Shamrock Gales players are everywhere on the ball. But again it's Clonagale Gale half clearing the ball and the referee is looking for something there I'd say. The referee is going to have a word with a Shamrock Gales player. It's a penalty for Shamrock Hills. It's a penalty kick for Shamrock Hills. A penalty kick for Shamrock Hills. I can't really tell you exactly who actually was fouled in possession there, but uh, the referee uh, had no doubt in his mind, or she had no doubt in her minds at all, and the penalty kick will be taken. <laughs> Jeremy McKeown to take this penalty kick, and the Shamrock Hills can score this, they will go four points ahead. You come in live here from Corden Park and Mode. She runs up, she shoots. A great save by the Clannan goalkeeper. It's a goal! It's a goal! A goal for Shamrock Hills! The rebound! So did it lovely! A great save by the Clannan Gale keeper! The ball retrieved back! And there it was! Bang on! Spring on! Bottom corner of the net! So Clonagale Gale now to try and reprieve this ball. Again, a good poor enough kick up on the goalkeeper, Clonagale. Gale. Again, now to Sarah Cassidy, half tattles. Rose Cully get loose of possession in the ball. She tries to recruit it. Referee is uh, signal but doesn't give a free kick. Number 15, now Clonagale. Gale. She has the ball. She knocks the ball in towards the danger area again for Shamrock Gales. The number 14 of, Cl of Clonagale, Gale, Marine Mackin, has the ball now. She's fouled in possession and it's a free kick to Shamrock Gales. Oh. 
So we're we'll back with this free kick. It's high. It's very high. And it's wide. A very, very poor effort. They're coming in from Marie Mack. And in the end, and the ball goes out wide. So just in case you've joined us late, it's Shamrock Hills 1-5. Plan again over the 1-1. Like that job, yeah. Again, now possession of Shamrock Gales at the side of the field again once more on a tunnel and a bundle with Rose Harden and uh, the number 12 of Clannock Gale, which is Nee Fallon. And again, the ball is going to go uh, in favour of Clannock Gale free kick. Nee Fallon will take it, Irish Breed Gouls will take it. The ball is kicked into the Shamrock Gales danger area again, up between uh, Sarah Cassidy and uh, Chance there, a shot, and it's over the bar. A score for Clonagh Gale. It brings back the deficit again once more to uh, three points. That goal actually has just uh, done all the good for Shamrock Gales in the world. So Clonagh Gale introduced uh, two substitutions now at the present moment. The number 17 of Clonagh Gale, which is Amy Lawl Im Ema Lawless, and the number 20 of Clonagh Gale, which is coming in for Helen Murray. And Shamrock Gales are introducing the substitution. Uh, Matone Madrummer is coming in for Shamrock Gales. And Rose Coley's coming off for Shamrock Gales. The substitution that's coming off for Clonagh Gale is... Number 15 for uh, Clonagh Gales is Anne Mackin. And number 13 for, Clon for Clonagh Gale is Sharon Creven. Also, one another's broken down for Paula out there. Harden the ball, middle of the middle park again. She's looking again for Michelle Harden. Michelle Harden on the ball again for Shamrock Gales. She's bursting her way through. Again, she seems to be fouled. The referee's going to give her free in first. Again, the ball is going down the side of the field once more. Again, looking for uh, the Atlantic Gale players. The ball has gone out of play once more. So now this is a chance for Deirdre Harden to a uh, good long ball from Deirdre Harden into the centre half forward position again. Looking for uh, a game job for Sh Michelle Harden. Michelle Harden is bursting and rushing through with the ball but again she's going to lose out in possession there. The referee's going to give a free out for Clonagh Gale. Quickly taken by Clonagh Gale player. It's going to go out this fast of the field again once more. And the number six of Clonagh Gale which has the ball now. She hovels and bubbles and has the ball again. She Comes down the, this side of the field again, she's fouled in possession, it's in the free kick to Clonagh Gale. Again, the number 8 of Clonagh Gale will take this free kick fairly fast. Uh, Michelle Hunt takes this free kick, she looks down the far side of the field again. She, uh, Gina has the ball. A shot coming in. Constructive play by Clonagh Gale. And again, the chance coming to Begging. But again, it's a great glorious chance and a good shot there coming in from a uh, Clonagh Gale player. But the ball is, ball is going to go wide. So now Sarah Cassie with this free kick once more. She gets the joyous latest Shamar Gales. One goal and five points. Clonagh Gale one goal and two. Good long ball again this side of the field once more. Shamar Gales have been awarded another free kick. Oh sorry, the referee's got to give a free kick to uh She's given a free kick to uh, Clonagh Gale. The number eight of Clonagh Gale takes this free kick. She takes it very fast indeed. Again, looking for uh, the centre half forward. But well, she won't get it. But she does get a good player with the centre half forward. Again, uh, Sierra Cassidy. Uh, I'm sorry. And she's laughing. actually gone out marking uh, her. The ball is broken again to the number 14 of Clonagh Gale. Uh, Marie Mackin. And she is fouled in possession. And once more, a chance here for Clonagh Gale to recuperate. And they have a chance now to uh, reduce the deficit once more. So Anne Mackin run up to take this free, she runs over, she toots, and it's going wide. It's gone wide again. So Shamrock Gales now, ladies, uh, really piped up at this stage to uh, hopefully retain the very first uh, Connacht ladies title. In case you've joined us late, it's Shamrock Gales 1-5, Clonagh Gale is coming 1-2. Good long clearance again from uh, Deir from the East Clerk, and again it's in the middle of the park, again now this is... Uh, Jared McEwen on the ball for Shamrock Gales and she has fouled in possession and the referee is going to give a free. Quickly take a free by uh, Shamrock Gales player. So, oh, but again, the uh, Clonagh Gale player uh, does very well to do clear lines there once more. 
looking again for a uh, shall we get this number 11 now of uh, Claudia Gale the danger woman uh, Paula Walsh and she's a uh, very influential indeed this ball always going to be a free kick for Claudia Gale The ball is breaking down there, the ball goal mat. It's going to go out wide. Ball has gone wide. I doubt how much time on the match. I doubt how much time on the match. Chance there once more. Got a begging. Breaking out, doing into a. The Sally McCormick at the ball for Shamrock Gales. She's pushed and bubbled and everything else. She has still had the ball. She's fighting for it all the way. This is now coming to Deirdre Harden. Deirdre Harden is the ball. She's fouled in possession. The ball is going to go uh, for a free free kick for Deirdre Harden. So a free kick for Derby Keown, good free kick. It's just gone wide for Derby Keown. <laughs> so just 15 minutes gone here in the Belly Motor in Corrin Park in the second half. Ball breaks again, so this is a chance for Shamrock Gills, but they lose possession once more. They're very, very slippy and very sloppy out there in the half back line for Shamrock Gills. Okay, they're looking for a chance at Claudia Gale now, half a chance to get a shot at goal. A goal for Claudia Gale! A goal for Claudia Gale! A goal there for Clannagale. Gale. I've never got that goal there. Goal scored by uh, number 14, Marie Mackin. Got that goal there for Clannagale. Gale. Again, the team has gone. Uh, Can quickly take a free kick now down the far side of the field once more. Again, looking for the substitution of Tony Gale, and she is uh, has the ball loose out again once more. Chance for Shamrock Hills to recuperate, but again, Tony Gale have possession once more. This game sounded definitely looked to be in Shamrock Hills' favour, but again, it's gone way, way wide again, and the ball is going to go out wide once more. So Denise Lerkin now to kick this ball out in. Good enough kick for Denise Lerkin over the first of the field. But again, the Clonic Gale players are very, very lively indeed. Chance here now once more for a good kick in there coming from a Clonic Gale player. The ball is going to go out wide once more. Well, one for one. So once more now Shamrock Gales in possession here once more. Hubble and bumble and a dive in the ball there. The referee's going to give a free kick to Shamrock Gales. It's going to be a hot ball actually I'd say. Yes sir because it'd be more than a free kick. So now once more. Good ball to the far side of the field once more looking for Shamrock Gales player but again nobody there to get it. A block down by a Tana Gale player and the chance is going to go up again. The train is just arriving in here to Ballymote station here at Ballymote. So now we're back in live here at Ballymote again and once more a chance here for Shower Kills to uh, try and get something out of this game. They badly need some result in this badly. Now this is Eileen McCormick in the ball for Shower Kills. She's going straight through. She's heading straight for a goal. There's no such thing as any sort of intensity of this girl at all. She shoots a score. A brilliant score for Shower Kills. And that is what you call good teamwork. A brilliant score indeed. A very good score. Is that a 
A brilliant score there in the end, coming in from uh, Shamrock Hills player. Again now, Deirdre Harden, a great feeling there by Deirdre Harden in the middle of the park. And she bursts her way through again. She's looking again for Riley McCormick. That's a great little nicky play by Shamrock Hills once more. A great fist back again. A chance for a score, another score here. A wonderful shot. And it just goes wide. Just goes wide. Good clearance again, one of the good keeper in the middle of the park once more. It's knocked down towards uh, Michelle Harren. She has the ball now for Nicky Harren. Who's that ball up towards the uh, far side of the field again? I'd say it's looking for uh, Eileen McCormick. It's broken down to Nicky Harren. Ball is going to be fumbled and fumbled and everything else. The referee is looking in there in the box again once more. Good clearance the far side of the field by the Clannock Gale player, but it's going to go over the far sideline. I'd say yes, it's gone over the far sideline. And it's another Shower Gale's uh, sideline ball. Quickly taking the far side of the field again once more. Looking again for uh, Eileen McCormick or anyone in that general direction. Again, it's a uh, very wet, very windy conditions here in Ballymote in uh, Sligo. A great play there by Shower Gales again. Uh, good cornerback doing very well there again. She knocks the ball off the side of the field once more. Looking again for uh, Shower Gales player. This is very well played by Shower Gales. Now this is Deirdre McKeown for Shower Gales. She humbles and pumbles. She gets a great play by Shower Gales. A shot! And it's just going to go narrowly wide. And again another chance got a big in there for Shower Gales. They surely should have uh, at least a uh, five, six point lead at this stage. So really the game is going to high and Bible. It's really... Um, Unbelievable stuff here in Bally Mode. You need to be an absolute magician to, to tell you exactly who's going to win this game. Once more, back. Good feeling by Shamrock Gale's player. But again, Atlantic Gale player has it again once more. The number 12 of Atlantic Gale, she, f she loses possession of the ball again. It's Amy Cogas. But again, Sarah Cassidy half clears it. It's getting out the chance of Atlantic Gale. There's four or five Atlantic Gale players for, for the Shamrock Gale's, maybe two or three. But again, Atlantic Gale have possession. Now again, a free kick take to take by the number eight, Atlantic Gale. She knocks the ball down, looking for Adele Cogas again for Shamrock Gale's. But she's fouling the possession, and it's another free kick for uh, Atlantic Gale. Quickly taken free kick by Atlantic Gale. Again, it's going to. Burry in the way, but chance of blocked down by this Connor Hanna Gale back. It's going to come out again. Chance for Shamrock Gales have to get it cleared. A good clear at the end. They're coming in from Tierra Cassidy. And this is Nikki Harran now has to get possession, but again she loses out there. Ball is going to go over the sideline. I'd say yes. The ball has just gone over the sideline on this side of the field. Pretty large attention here at Ballymote this afternoon. I'd estimate about maybe about uh, two and a half, three, uh, two hundred and fifty, three hundred people here at Ballymote in Carden Park. So now the chance for Shamrock Gales to uh, try and uh, get their breaths back. Remember their uh, manager Thomas Welsh and selector Burnham Hurd and Pori Scanlon are very much ir irrigated at this moment, at the present moment. Shamrock Gales now have been awarded another free kick. So, just in case you join us later, uh, Angela Lavin has been sent to the line by the referee. A score there for uh, Claudia Gale. Score coming then from the number uh, 10 of Marie Fallon. I just scored a point there for Clannock Gale. <laughs> Good long ball once more into the middle of the park once more. Get the chance out going to beg it for Clannock Gale but again Shamrock Gales are really uh, under strength at the moment as it looks like it. They're under real extreme strain pressure. Great save by the goalkeeper. Uh, Jeremy, uh, Denise Lurkin, shot half blocked down once more. And Shamrock is under an awful amount of pressure at the moment, an awful amount of pressure indeed. Ball has gone wide again. Ball has gone wide once more. Ball is into the Shamrock area again once more, and the ball is going to go out wide. 
I get the referee and actually giving another free kick. Once more again, the ball is going to come up into the to be a chance to recover it. Dara Harden has a chance here for, for Nikki Harden to get the ball. She locks it in towards the Shower Gills. Again, it's just Riley McCormick on the ball for Shamrock Gills. She has the ball. She's doing very well. She's heading straight for goal. Oh, this is brilliant play by Ellie McCormick. You really have to credit her. A great chance. A great unlucky pass from Derry Keown. And Derry Keown's pass in the end is very, very wide indeed. So quickly take a free kick to look at again for Ellen McCormick. Into looking again with Nicky Harren. Shumakins need to score here badly. But again the ball is breaking down for Shumakins. A chance for Shumakins to rebury the way into something here now. The ball high ball in the goal but the goalkeeper loses it. But Gary regains possession again and tears the lines very well indeed. Under pressure but a great play, play by Shumakins goalkeeper. But the Italian goalkeeper. Good high ball into the goal once more. High lobby ball. It's a good kick. The goalkeeper does very well indeed to clear that ball and the ball is going to go uh, of the far side of the field is still in play. Tony Gale now trying to recuperate. They have the chance to do that and they get the ball to the side of the field again once more. So a chance here for Shamrock to... Oh, a pretty poor pass in the end. The ball is going to go down the far side of the field. Now this is a good play by Paula now. She had to get that ball. She's done very well to get it. Again now the ball is coming this side of the field. It's a great chance by uh, Fiona Mulhern. She has the ball. She fixed the ball back and again... Uh, Derek Clear Hilly... Uh, Ball is looking for a chance here for Claudia Gale to re burst and they have the chance now they're going down the field, so the field. She's heading straight for goal. There's nothing on her. She's still going through. Still if the ball to another ankle team player. Shot, a score. Yes! A score for Claudia Gale. Good long kick out once more. A chance here now for Shamrock Hills to recuperate. Remember they're a point down at the moment here in Ballymote and Corner Park. A chance here once more now for Shamrock Hills to... Uh, they've been wanting another free kick for Shamrock Hills. Could they take it again once more? This is Eileen McCormick at the ball for Shamrock Hills. She's uh, interlinking with the ball again to, to McKeown. Jeremy McKeown the ball. She passes the ball over the centre field towards... Uh, Number 10, Tear Healy. Tear Healy still on the ball. She's going through. She's burying her way through. There's nothing to stop her. She shoots. That's a brilliant score by Tear Healy. A brilliant score indeed. And that was all set up by the cleverness of Tear McKeown and Fiona Mulhern and Tear Healy. A beautiful score in the end. So now, back again in action again once more. Shall we get the possession once more? They're really fighting for this game. A chance here for something for, to really try and bury trying to get at this stage. Chance going to begging after begging. A great chance at the box again once more. It's knocking down towards a. Uh, shall we get a whole lot of trying to get players in the position there? They've lost the possession of the ball. And Shamar Gales are going to give a free into Shamar Gales. So it could be Dylan McHugh or Michelle uh, Harren. It could be anyone to take this free kick. It looks like Michelle Harren from a distance. Actually, it's Deirdre McKeown is going to take it. So Deirdre, who's missed a few easy ones already, she couldn't really afford to miss this one. She's under extreme pressure. She has to put this over the bar or else the, this has to go over. It's over the bar and it's driven very confidently and very calmly and coolly over the bar. It's a sign of a very good player. A very good score indeed. Brilliantly scored. So now Schumburg gets go back in front. One goal and eight points to two goals and four. In case you've joined us late here in Ballymote. Three minutes. 
So Lamborn once more in the middle of the park, but again Tlani Gale have a chance to recoup on eight. And Tlani Gale's number two has the ball. She uh, comes down the side of the field again, but Lomitano is is locking the ball again, but it's getting a chance. Shabakins have the ball. They have the ball, they're clearing it. Paula Dowd has actually been sent off there as well. Hi, ball is gone. Ball has gone wide. Ball has gone wide. So Shamrock Gills are down to uh, 13, ma 13 women. Angela Laugh and the catch was sent off and now Paula Dowd has just been sent to the line for two rather uh, in incidental situations. So we can't really tell you exactly what happened because I don't really know. So now again the ball is breaking to Clonagall Gale player. A high ball into the Shamrock Gales ball goal mat. And again Idel Coggs well played by Mathona Madurva. She clears the ball this side of the field once more. A chance here now for Shamrock Gales to recoup on it. And they have the chance to recoup on it. This is now with, uh, with Fiona Hearn. She's doing very well. She hovels and bubbles. She gives the ball up the first of the field. Again, broken towards uh, Eileen McCormick and the ball for Shamrock Gales. She's doing very well indeed. Eileen now still has the ball. She's bursting her way through. Shamrock Gales will really have to hold a possession if they do win this game. Still Eileen McCormick still going through. No one to take her on at all. She loses, drops the ball over her hand, but again, she's no support. Again, now she has uh, Nikki Hearn the ball. Again, the ball is going to... Uh, Hobble and bobble again, the Shamrock Hills trying to time waste as much time as they possibly can. And uh, now the chance is kicked in low in the game once more for Shamrock Hills. A chance here for Shamrock Hills to do something here now. Block down, and that is a really uh, has to win possession there. But again, the ball is going to go to the first of the field. Again, a chance now for uh, number, five, number 15, uh, Emer. Emer Kogus, he did to lose that ball. But again, it's uh, Sarah Cassidy or uh, Link Kogus lose the ball as well. And now the chance of Del Kogus to clear the lines, and once more Del Kogus gets the ball, and great play by Del Kogus. She gives the ball to Matona Drummond into uh, Lane Craig. Green Craig has that ball. She does very well indeed. She gives the ball back to uh, Eileen McCormick. This is Eileen, the influential Eileen McCormick. She's a brilliant player when she gets the ball. She knows exactly where the goals are. She pipes that ball up, looking for Deirdre Hart, but again the ball is going to go to Deirdre's reach, and again this in the middle of the park again, knocked out of her fridge. But again it's a uh, Chance for Shamrock Gales to recoup on it. Again, Tlani Gale has the possession of the ball. It's going to go to the far side of the field. This is a chance here for Tlani Gale to go to the corner burst. A chance blocked down, a great block down by the cornerback of Shamrock Gales. And this girl does very well to uh, recoup on it. The ball is going to go uh, to the side of the field again. A good kick with, uh, with against Tlani Gale still in the possession. They're still boring their way through. The ball has gone wide. The ball has gone wide. And that surely could have been an absolute screamer of a goal for Tlani Gale. A really glorious chance there for Tlani Gale, and the ball has gone wide. That was an absolute brilliant chance for Tlani Gale to definitely whack this game in the bag. But really, I say the girl that missed that, I say she definitely she'll have nightmares for the next 12 months. I'd say. Well, you come back here, Bally and again a chance for Tlani Gale. This is number 11. She kicks, she shoots. It's a high, high, very high lobby ball, and it's gone wide once more. We bought. About a minute left in the game here in Ballymoat. Once more now the ball at Tlani Gill. She surely has travelled 50 yards of that ball. Wide. Ball has gone over the bar. The ball has gone over the bar. That is unbelievable decision by the referee because that girl actually travelled about 25 yards with the ball without even Solon tipping the ball or anything on their toe. And the ball goes... So again now Eileen McCormick loses possession once more for Shamrock Gales. This girl has been absolutely outstanding brilliant in this game. A great chance. She's toggled and buggled. She still plays on. She wants to win herself this free kick.
So the final score here in Ballymote is Shamrock Gales 1-8, Clonic Gale 2 goals and 5 points. Thank you very much for a very entertaining game here in Ballymote. Well, that's wrong, I mean, definitely. I'm coming, I'm coming to the course as well. I'm coming to the course as well. Draw. Right, it is a draw, yeah? Definitely a draw. It is a draw. Yeah. Sit off there, I get her left. Is it, is it a draw? Is it a draw? Is it a draw? Sorry. Ballet Moat is Shamrock Gills and uh, Clonagill have drawn level here in the in the uh, ladies club final kind of final and uh, the latest information we have is actually going to extra time but not alone that uh, the referee actually actually awarded the game at the end of the match to Clonagill when he added the scores up when she added the scores up and he added uh, the, uh, the officials added up Clonagill seemed to have won it but uh, Clonagill were actually celebrating but then all of a sudden the uh, referee checked it again and they found out that actually he w she was wrong so uh, we're waiting on the word team word on the situation uh, to come through, but as soon as we have that coming through, we'll let you know about it. I think I believe that uh, the rule is that the Shamrock Hills can bring and two more subs back in. So uh, here they come again, the Shamrock Hills team coming back on the field once more. So now uh, all ready for a biting and action again now. So it's uh, looking forward to a very exciting uh, period of second half. Everyone else the wire except some. Man, I do what you want. Man. Is there help? Is there help to beat uh, Samir as a Kelly Channel? 1 5 to 2 points. Is there help to beat Samir as a Kelly Channel? 1 5 to 2 points. Who is it? Is there help to win? They'll be beating them, they'll be beating them at the moment, yeah. 1 5 to 2 points. That's how I'm doing. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Leo. 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 What's the um? How, how long is it the time? Huh? How long is it half? Is it 50 minutes. Outside the wire. Outside the wire. Leo. 15. <laughs> How's it? 15. 15 minutes yeah. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> so, uh, we're back here in Ballymote. The, uh, so the game is back on again once more in the belly as the extra time is on and it's a chance here for Clonagill to uh, give a chance in her pollen well played by uh, number 16 uh, shall we get some shamrock now to uh, try and uh, we could bring in the situation as they're going to try and hover on bubble with the situation and give a chance uh, going for shamrock once more and the ball is going to go uh, Clonagill free kick Well played by the corner back of Shabbat Gales and the ball is going to be uh, Rose Colley get the ball again a foolish pull by Rose Colley and again they're given to the Tony Gale player but again uh, Sarah Cassidy has fouled the possession referee is going to give a free kick to uh, Tony Gale <laughs> 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 
Long ball into the goal. It's over the bar for Clonda Gale. Over the bar there for uh, Clonda Gale. Score coming from... Uh, So a good long ball from Denise Lurkin. Well, over the half line again, but the ball pulled out or uh, missed out there by the uh, Deirdre Harden. And the uh, referee has given another free kick to uh, Lani Gill. Quickly taken once more. This is number 11 now of Lani Gill. She fists the ball in one side to the number uh, 14. She's looking for a soft ball. More than likely, the ball is going to go out wide again once more. And Denise Lurkin, the Sligo junior, senior or junior ladies good cooper. Referee is going to give her a wide ball. So just in case you're joining us late, we're actually here in extra time here in Ballymoat in Corden Park. And Tony Gill taking the lead of extra time. So now a chance there for uh, <laughs> a score there again once more for Tony Gale. Score coming again from the number uh, 14. So it's now uh, Tony Gale, two goals and seven points. So again, the ball knocked in the middle of the park once more. Tony Gale are really having a boost in us in the last couple of minutes here now at this moment. So Tony Gale now a chance here to uh, group an eight. Again, a uh, chance here now for uh, Tony Gale to have a little both of in their way through the defence. But again, the chance here for number 14. This is uh, Ilberie Macken. She loses the ball again. Now the chance for Shamrock Gales to recoup and they have the chance of the possession at the moment. This is well played by Shamrock Gales. Again, the knock ball down this side of the field again once more. So this is Ali McCormick at the ball for Shamrock Gales. She's pushing the back, but the referee still plays on. It's Jeremy Keown now has a chance of possession of the ball. Deirdre still going through. She kicks that ball up the far side of the field. Again, uh, Michelle, Michelle Harden has the ball for Shamrock Gales. She's going through. The referee's going to give a free in for Shamrock Gales. So a free in here to Shamrock Hills here, taken once more by Deirdre McKeown, I'd say. <laughs> so it's about 14, 20 yard final. Good kick, all right. But it's driven beautifully over the bar once more by Deirdre McKeown. That reduced the deficit again now to uh, one point. Fast boys. <laughs> <laughs> so good kick off once more from the uh chance to have once more get a good cut. Chance for now for uh Shamrock Gills to uh, get something at this uh, good kick once more in for the uh Tony Gale goal mod. But again the full back of Tony Gale is very really alert and very eagerly get that ball. She does very well indeed. Again now this is a chance for Shamrock Gales to get something else. And uh, so something the referee's going down to have a chat down there to see what exactly what happened. So uh water, get some water. Hi. Hi, Hi. I'm on I'm live on candy camera here with the quiet. So Jordan be now with this penalty kick for Sham again. <laughs> so 
So great save by the goalkeeper there of Tally Gale. Second penalty of the game that Tally Gale keeper saved, but this time the rebound has come to a. Uh, so well played by Rose Cawley now for Sharon Gales. She kicks that ball down again the side of the field and it's going to go out over the sideline and another line ball to uh, Tally Gale. So Eileen McCormick now fouls the Tally Gale player. And she dives that ball. And McCogan is now on the ball here to try and uh, take the ball at the no number 13. And the ball is going to go to number the substitution for Tlana Gale. The ball is knocked into this box once more. And a goal for Tlana Gale. A goal for Tlana Gale. A goal for Tlana Gale. Well, the Gale's missed a penalty. And in all fairness, like when you miss a penalty, you can't really afford to... Uh, Go away, silly goals, and that's just really the things that happened. Once more, the ball is coming down. Once more, a chance for Shamrock Gales to try and recoup in this game at the moment. And a chance to come into bag in here for Shamrock Gales, and again, the ball is going to fist it in the area. Again, now Shamrock Gales have something to try and recoup it. A shot coming in, and the ball is going to go wide. So now the score at the moment is Shamrock Gales one goal and nine points, Tlana Gale three goals and seven points. That's a four point lead for uh, Tlana Gale. Then I'll get now trying to get an attack here once more. Ball is going to go out over the side and wide. And uh, Chad's going kind to of beg in there once more. Shamrock Gales now, this is uh, Michelle Harden with the ball. She knocks the ball into the Tlana Gale area, but again, it's her she in the situation, and it's a uh, ball is going to go. Uh, So that's the chance of number 10 now for Tlana Gale on the ball. She knocks the ball. She's still going through the ball. She loses position. She still has it again. She fists the ball looking for her number 9. But again, uh, well played by Shabra uh, Gale's number 8, which is Nikki Harren. She knocks the ball down the distance field towards uh, Deirdre Harren. Again, on to... Uh, <laughs> so now... So now this is uh, a free kick in for Shabra Gale's once more. So we have Shamrock Gales now trying to uh, recoup it. A shot coming in there for Shamrock Gales player. And a score there for Shamrock Hills. Scored by... Uh, yeah. so, so Eileen McCormick there. A very good score indeed there. Coming in from Eileen McCormick. So now, once more, in the middle of the field, once more, again, a break ball and break down once more, again, a chance here for Gunnar Beggin. But again, Tlana Gale have something to uh, retrieve on, again, the ball is going to break into the Rose Colling position here for Shamrock Gales. She knocks the ball, uh, and the kind of ball is going to go over the far sideline once more, another Tlana Gale free kick. Again, now, this is a chance for, uh, this is Ali McCormick in the ball for Shamrock Gales. She knocks the ball into Jeremy Keown, a suicide pass, but again, it goes luckily enough, but it breaks away to a Tlana Gale player. That's a chance for Tlana Gale to try and recuperate, but again a chance uh, to... Tom Dover to half clear that ball, she gives the ball into uh, this film, will hurt the ball for Shamrock Gales, she's hard and barge and she's fouled in possession of the referee, has given another free kick to Shamrock Gales. Three points in it here at the moment in belly mode. And it's a fairly good training game here, we're in extra time. A chance here now for this uh, film, will still going through with the ball. She loses possession, but she regains it again. Chance to go kick across the face of the goal. That's going to go wide, I'd say. Still, still in play, actually. Shell hard now with the ball. She retrieves the ball, gets the ball, does very well indeed to get it. She knocks the ball. Uh, the centre field again is knocked back towards the uh, thing. And the referee is going to go uh, give a wide ball. So, my estimation, I think the first half of uh, extra time actually is over, but it's up, I'd say. Estimation that's. Uh, 
pretty ent entertaining game here in Ballymote and Corn Park. So really it's a... Chance enough. A good score. And a very good score again. Coming from uh, Fiona Mahern. A brilliant score again. All individual again. And a brilliant score. And that's really what we have to do if you want to win a game. A chance gone a big in there. And the ball just glazed over the crossbar. A brilliant score indeed. So now once more a chance you know, for a uh Well played this to Fiona hurting on the ball for Shamrock Gaines now. Still Fiona. Ball is half blocked to the ball. Ball is going to hobble and bobble. Again the number two of Clonda Gale. She has the ball. She's looking and laughing at the ball. But again that's still number 10 now for Clonda This is number 13 for Clonda Gale. She's going to burst her way through with the ball. She was taken off her the first half but now she's back in the field again. Chance here now she's recouping it. It's number nine of Clonda Gale. Ball is going to come for Rosa Cawley. And Rosa Cawley is going to be fouled in possession. It's another free kick to Shamrock Gales. Plenty of time for Nikki Harn to take this free kick. She drives it down. Good and good high ball from Nikki Harn. Looking again for someone to get that ball. Again, it's a chance here for someone to against. But again, it's a chance of breaking down for this is a Michelle Harn. Nikki Harn. Again, for chance now for this is for the, the Dermy Keown. A shot coming in and it's a great score indeed. A very good score indeed. A very good score. A brilliant, brilliant kick indeed. And a well over the bar. Once more now we get a ball in the scramble over the first side of the field there. And it's hard to say exactly who is actually going to get the ball, but uh, chance now for Shamrock Gales to recoup and get a chance, great chance over the first side of the field again now, and it's a. Uh, Ball is going to go uh, touching the ground, I think. And the uh, could be a hustle above level situation, and the referee is going to have a word with. Actually, he plays she plays on the referee. She's going to give a free kick to uh, Clonda Gale. In case you join us late, it's Shamrock Gale's one goal and twelve points. Clonda Gale three goals and seven. Now the chance of a. Uh, so Clonda Gale have a lot of possession here at the moment. It's number 17 of Clonda Gale now. This is the substitution that came in. And really she's very fresh. Very, very fresh indeed. She's burying her way through. She's still going through. She's summing her way through. Ball has gone wide. A kick in the end. Coming in from the ball. And the ball has gone wide. I thought we said that actually ball was over the bar. But it went wide. And thanks for the goal as I say. And goes. It went wide. So now we're back here again in Ballymore. A good kick off from uh, Denise Turkin. Just around the 50 yard line. It's a four, three or four players go for it. But Sarah Cassidy has possession of the ball. She nicks the ball on her toe. She has plenty of time now to recuperate. She has the ball. She does very well indeed. She kicks the ball down the side of the field. Looking for Fiona Hearn. Or anyone. Or Sharon Willis. Or anyone at all. Ball is going to break loose instead. It comes to... Uh, this is Nikki Harron on the ball for Shamrock Gales now. She has the ball. She drives the ball down this side of the field once more. It's going to come down towards... Uh, and again, the referee... Uh, the sideline ball for Clanty Gale. So, it was two minutes here... Uh, to half time break at the extra time and it's uh, just starting to rain again here in Corn Park in Ballymote in case you join us late it's Shamrock Hills one goal and 12 points Tony Gillen was coming three goals and seven a one point advantage for uh, Hill chance now for Sharon Willis on the ball she loses the possession there once more ball is going to knock down referee's given a free out once more to Tony Gill ball kicked up the side of the field once more it's going to go over the side it's going to beat everyone and go over the sideline again the ball is going to go over the sideline Again, 
So once more the ball is uh, howling and bubbling. It's very, very, very... Uh, this ball is very greasy and very slippery. And it's just half time here in uh, extra time. The game between Shamrock Gales and Clonagill in the Connex Senior Club uh, Championship. And it's half time. So both teams will probably have a chat or else the... So now the game starts again here and it's a chance to clear again once more by Adele Cogans. But again the ball is going to uh, break the ball in the, in the field. The Sally McCormick loses possession again it goes to the Gale player. She has the ball and she uh, fools the ball and again Shamrock Gales has the chance to start to Clannock Gale lose possession and this is Shamrock Gales on the ball now. This is Eileen McCormick. She has the ball. She's coming through with the ball. She knocks the ball up looking for uh, Fiona Mulhern. This is actually clear, sorry, clear Healy on the ball for Shamrock Gales. She uh, tumbles and tumbles with the ball. She plays a lovely neat plus going towards uh, Jeremy Keown again to Clear Healy. This is a brilliant play from Clear Healy. She's still going through. She kicks into the goal mat and the full back of Atlantic Gale has the ball and she clears it half out but only as far as Deirdre Harden. Deirdre Harden on the ball here for Shamrock Gales. She burrows her way through. She's fouling position but she still has the ball. She shoots. It's a shot and it's over the bar for Shamrock Gales. A great score again for Shamrock Gales. And that brings back the deficit once more to. Uh, Level terms here in Corden Park in Ballymoat. It's Shamrock Hills. One goal and 13 points. So now, uh, so now once more, a chance for now for Nikki Hart to get possession of the ball. She has it again and she does very well. She kicks that ball over the far side of the field looking for uh, Fiona Mulhern, but the ball is going to go over the sideline. The ball has gone wide over the sideline once more. And, uh, So now a chance for uh, Tony Gill to try and recoup it and again the ball is going to go uh, Tony Gill free kick but well, she's over carrying the ball referee's actually brought her back and tell her to take the free again please she's just about to take the free kick again now so it's a chance to uh, recoup it a good long ball into the Shamrock Gills area again once more well played by Rose Colley Rose Colley is fouled in possession the referee's going to give a free kick to uh, Shamrock Gills so a chance here for Shamrock Gills once more to break down the field and the number uh, ball has just gone out of play. Ball is uh, coming down once more, and again the ball is going to go uh, to Gale favour. The ball has gone down the side of the field once more. Down the point, everyone else. The ball is going to go down uh, towards the uh, Tanagale player. The ball is going to go uh, almost wide, but again, the well played. But the cornerback is Shamrock Gales, and the referee is going to give another free out for Shamrock Gales. So now, uh, Where is it? <laughs> Good players once more by Atlantic Gale, by Shamrock Gale's player, but again it's broken to uh, Atlantic Gale player. And they had the uh, possession now, this is number 9 Atlantic Gale, she has the ball, she fits the ball, looking for it again for the number 11, the danger girl. She's still going through, she shoots, a shot, it's high, it's very high, and it's wide. Ball is... It's actually gone for a 50. The linesman actually is getting, or the umpire at the far side is given an actual 50, has he? Huh? The umpire is going to have a chat with the referee. And uh, there's something must have happened. But the ball has actually gone wide. Just in case you're actually elsewhere in the uh, Connacht Club Championship, uh, St. Mary's of Carrick and Shannon are playing Eastern Harps. And uh, Eastern Harps are only that by three or four points at the moment. We're back live here at Ballymote, and it's a very entertaining game here. So far, we're in extra time here in Ballymote. We have a brilliant chance here now to... Uh, oh 
so now chance So, free kick coming in there from Atlantic but again broken down by Atlantic Gale player, but again it's going to come to Denise Lear, because the Chamber Gale's keeper, and she drives that ball out towards the 50 yard, good driving ball, but again there's a David Hard on the ball for Chamber Gales, she fits the ball out, good play by Chamber Gales, it's a glorious chance for Chamber Gales to try and open up this game now, if they're, ever, if they're ever going to open it up, a chance here, now this is well played by Chamber Gales, they need to score badly here now, a chance going to, they have to really bury their way through for this game, and again Chamber Gales running out of ideas, the final touch, and that was the end of that, so now a chance for, uh, Nikki Harren and uh, ball is going to go out for uh, another free kick for Atlantic Gale a free kick to uh, given away very foolishly by Shamrock Gales ball is robbed and they get uh, a chance here now for uh, Deirdre Harren to get possession she gives that ball in high once more looking for uh, Claire Healy or Fiona Hearn or anyone in Shamrock Gales colours again it's broken out to uh, which this is um, Michelle Harren, she's fouled in possession. The referee doesn't give anything there, but it gives Tony Gill have a have a chance to break the ball. So, uh, so uh, just a very good score. Uh, got a big in for Shamrock Gales once more. This is broken out to a Tony Gale player. This is number uh, 17. The substitution given just before the game ended, actually, and she's doing a very good job indeed. Man marking job on Rose Colley, and a re uh, chance kind of begging once more. Shamrock Gales been awarded another free kick. So once more, a uh, glorious chance for Shamrock Gales to try and retrieve a title which has never actually won in ladies football and really this will be a great uh, a great thing indeed to see a team from Shamrock Gales to do something because it's like the champions really never really have uh, performed in this championship but Tony Gale have to win it like we all know exactly how good Tony Gale are through the footballing team of their own football, their men's team. This is now Michelle Harron on the ball for Shamrock Gales. She's going down the wing. She has the ball. The ball is going to go uh, down uh, for some of the kids. I will be awarded a free kick. So, uh, so a chance there for some of the kids to recuperate. But again, the ball is going to ball going to go to Clonagh Gale player. And the Clannan Gale player now is number uh, number 11, she's still brushing through, she's still going through, she's still, she's done for about 45 yards up the field, she's still going through, no one takes her on, Sarah Cassidy makes a half challenge, but doesn't get full contact, the ball still comes to uh, a chance, but again it's going to ball break down to uh, number 15, she shoots, it's high, and it's over the bar, and nobody marking that number 13 at all, the ball sailed all the way over the bar, and uh, a chance gone a big in there once more for Shamrock Hills. So once more, Shamrock Gales have a chance to try and get permission of this ball. Again, now it's a chance for Deirdre Harn to get the ball. She asked the ball to do a few more the ball for Shamrock Gales. She's doing very well indeed this game. This really is uh, coming live here from Ballymote. Chance here for Claire Hooley in the ball for Shamrock Gales. She fits the ball into... Uh, this is uh, Deirdre Harn on the ball for Shamrock Gales. She's holding up burden and she's fouled again, as I say, but no referee as she plays on. Kick coming in from Deirdre, from uh, Shamrock Gales player and the ball is going to go out wide. The score at the moment is uh, Clonagh Gale, three goals and eight points, Shamrock Gales, one goal and 13 points. That my estimation is Clonagh Gale, 17 points, Shamrock Gales, one go goal, 13, which is a total of 16 points here in Ballymote. And really, uh, once more the ball is coming in low again. Chance here for Shamrock Gales to try and recuperate it again. They're going to ball break down to a uh, Tally Gale player, I'd say. But again, Shamrock Gales doing very well to try and win that possession. But again, the ball is going to go towards this side of the field. And she's pushed out the ball. And again, the chance for Tally Gale to try and recuperate number 11. Now, Tally Gale now has the ball. She's a. Uh, which is Fiona Walsh. Paula Walsh gets the ball, but she's a. Uh, loose the possession of the ball. And the ball just goes back to uh, number 12 of Tally Gale, which is Nee Fallon. Again, it's uh, 
Tom Dorber to clear a lines there. Well done indeed by Tom Dorber. She gets it this side, the far side of the field once more. The ball is going to go for a shower. Gills free kick. So there's nine minutes left here in the game here in Ballyboat, and it's a pretty entertaining game here. We're actually into extra time, and it's looking very, very tight indeed. It's very hard to say exactly who's going to win this game, but I think of a, a goal that definitely would kill off whoever would get the next score. I think there'll be a goal appointed, but that's a very poor effort at the end. Coming in from Michelle Gills, our free kick. They're just not winning possession, whatever it is. So a long ball once more from a trying to get a free kick, but again well played by Rose Colley, the far side of the field. She's uh, doing very well in detail for Shamrock Gills today. She's looking for uh, Fiona Mulhern. Deirdre Harden has the ball instead for Shamrock Gills. The referee's given a free kick. Referee uh, from Ahawil and Leitrim. Pumps that ball, looking again for a Shamrock Gills player, but again she's pushed away out of the way, but again she gets another free ball. This is number 12 now, Clonagh Gale, which is a... Uh, Diana Dolan. Diana Dolan still on the ball for Shamrock or for Clonagh Gale. She's still going through. She shoots. It's a very high shot and it's going to go well wide again from Diane Dolan. The ball has gone wide. <laughs> Diane Dolan there. Uh, pretty uh, disastrous uh, kick in the end. What, eight minutes. Bernie, eight minutes. Eight minutes. This is four minutes. So it's a. So the ball has gone on the sideline once more. It's a chance here for Tony Gale to recuperate. Good long ball once more for Tony Gale. But again, Deirdre Harden have her another ball for Shower Gills. And she's awarded a free kick. Long ball once more into the uh, Tony Gale area. But again, Isla McCormick has the ball for Shower Gills. So a glorious chance. Long ball out the field once more for the Clonagh Gale keeper, but it's kind of broken down to a uh, Clonagh Gale player. This is the full back of Clonagh Gale to uh, recover it. She gets the ball and she's uh, half beaten in the air. But again, the ball is going to overreach there for the Clonagh Gale player, but now this is a chance of uh, Sarah Casti has the ball. She has it, gives it to a. Uh, Gives the, the ball in long, looking for Eileen McCormick. Two or three players go for it. Jared McKeown has it. It's a Clannig Gale player has it now instead, but Clannig Gale player bursting away up. But Shamrock Gales has the player now instead. And it's a free kick to Shamrock Gales. A free kick to Shamrock Gales now. And uh, we've just about uh, two and a half minutes to go here in Ballymote in the game. And it's a very entertaining, very highly uh, sporting game. Uh, there's been no real uh, major incidents apart from the two sent off the Shamrock Gales have had, which I think uh, personally. Uh, I can't understand why the referee actually sent off Paul O'Dowd or either the Isle Lavin. I think Ajin Lavin actually sent off for in a, an off the ball, isn't it? But uh, Paul O'Dowd's decision, I can't really tell you, I tell you exactly what happened there, but uh, I probably will know after a while. But um, coming back to think of that, this is Jeremy Keown now with the free kick for Shamrock Gales. She knows you to put this over the bar, it has to go over the bar. The ball has gone wide from Jeremy Keown. And. Uh, So, uh, this chance now got to make it once more for Sean This is Claudia Gale now on the chance once more. Ball is going to break down once more. The ball is Sean McGill's. Have the ball once more, but again, the referee is going to give a hot ball to Sean McGill's. And the chance now got to make it for Sean McGill's once more. Throw in once more, quickly taken. He gets us knocked down towards the. Uh, and the game is all over. The game is all over. The game is all over. And Clarna Gale have won the Connacht Ladies Club Championship. I seriously do believe the referee has definitely blown this game at least two minutes and a half. He blew the referee. The referee has blown the whistle two minutes before time. That is an absolute decision. The Connacht Council will have to definitely have to deal with. 
a minute and a half, two minutes I reckon, myself. I just can't believe the referee actually has blown the whistle two minutes before time. That is one of the most funniest decisions I've ever seen in footballing days in my life. That is absolutely unbelievable. Five or six hundred people here, every one of them had to miss that game, did it be? Right, it was a great game of football, guys, and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, 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 Thanks very much. Thank you. 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 Thank through the years, like last 15, 20 years, like everyone else, like, how exactly do you feel? Like, I mean, you mean, you're living through, say, like, say, a lot of you, I'd say, have relations and cousins and different knows what, like, you're on the actual, say, through the men's team. Um, do you feel like it's a kind of a, that Mr. coming through, like, as you can see from yourself here, like, it's a very small surrounding area for the actual area, this club is a moment, but I mean, coming from a from point of view from your own club, like, do you think, uh, give it a you think, do you think it's um, well, yeah. we've just lost the club when the lads were in the finals. We were at most of the matches and we just hoping we'd go one better and win the All-Ireland this year. Yeah. All I can say to you, like coming from Sligo area, myself and all, I wish you the best of luck on you. Thanks, and, uh, all I can say to you, like we played a team from and from Leitrim, we played the um, Champions Mayo, the Conduct Champions last year. Like, and uh, to be honest with you, like yeah. looking yeah. look at the field, like to be honest with you, like looking from the city, like well, they're a very small team. Like people from from Leitrim, they're, they're very small. Just they couldn't be much good, like you know. But to be quite honest, with you, you're absolutely brilliant. To be quite honest. Thanks very much. So uh, I just leave the final words no. with yourself. Ben, um, just thanks very much, and just I hope we all do really well and enjoy London and. <laughs> If you're going to go by, which I mean, this team is uh, just all I can say to you is best to look at Connacht and I'm, I'm feeling well and sure that you can definitely do it, and there's no doubt about it. Yeah, just um, thanks, Shamrock Gales team again, and no. just Give me say three cheers for Shamrock Gales. Hey, Bip! Hey, Bip! Hey, Bip! Well, Fimber, as you know yourself, I just asked you, you're a captain of the easy, simple questions. I'm just going to ask you now. Um, you know yourself through the years with, with your senior team, with your men's team, been uh, so successful in the whole lot. Like, um, it, it must be a great boost for your for the girls to come through at such a stage, like I mean, to, to win a Connacht Club Championship. Well, it is. It's a great boost for the girls. But the thing that got us here today, from anyone who watched the match, was the spirit that the team had. And even though there was things went against us, we still fought hard. We came back into it. And, Fitness and spirit that won it in the end, and great game of football. It's true, yeah. <laughs> well, let's say uh, it just goes to show you, like, I mean, the, the later, as I just repeat the question again, like, the, the men's team, we all know exactly how brilliant they've been through the year and all that, like, yeah, but now they start to really come good, like, and all I can say is, like, looking through the performances today, like, you were three or four points out, I think, in the second half, and then all of a sudden you just bang, bang, and you came back into it, well into it again, like, it, it's a sign of a very good side, and uh, all I can say is, like, I mean, if you were to look back on the records, the, uh, records don't show anything at the end of the day. But, but it all happens up in the end. It's, it just goes to show you, like, I mean, team performance is what it's all about, like, and uh, all it's all you can to say to you. Well, you're right there because we trailed for 60 minutes of the game against Levin Moore and we never gave up. We came here today and most of the game we were trailing, but it's true the spirit of the team that came back. This is a great achievement for a side who were a junior side two years ago. And we have to come in, as, not just anyone, but the team. The girls put in the effort and they got what they deserve from it today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.